Okay, so in this What is Wednesday today, we're going to be talking about Tori. Now, Tori at just at 1.0, just a minute ago, and by minute, I mean like a month ago. And this is a, an amazing platform for building applications that work on the desktop natively. No, this is done so via web technology and Rust in the back end. However, you don't have to be a Rust enthusiast to be very good at building things with Tori uh, because there's a TypeScript and JavaScript API as well. So this thing allows you to write applications for the desktop and it says mobile and WASM coming soon. I will be interested to see that um, because mobile platforms are, you know, there's there's interesting options available right now. But if you could write once and deploy in all of these places, then that would put Tori into one of those categories of, of frameworks or applications that would really be something right. So this thing is built with Rust and it works with any front end, anything of your choosing. You're essentially just pointing it to a website and then it renders the website inside of a web view. That's right. Just like something like Electron, it's essentially running a browser renderer inside of the application. Now, Electron, I believe, is Chromium. And you might be wondering about this as well. Is this thing running just Chromium under the hood? What is this? Well, it's a little bit interesting. In fact, we go into the architecture setting of this. There's a lot of information here about what's built with what. We have all this Tory stuff that's all Rust, the tooling, the API that's a TypeScript, JavaScript, the bundler is Rust. There's a Rust CLI. However, there's a JavaScript wrapper for it to create Tory app. It's JavaScript. And then you get into stuff like this, the Tau and the Rye. Now, Rye is a cross-platform web view rendering library. Now, that is kind of code and not really code. It's just, an, it, um, just a fancy way of saying this thing is a browser renderer for the front end of this thing. So this thing runs a browser renderer inside of it, just like Electron does. However, what does this ship? If you scroll down here, it tells you. Um, in fact, it says uh, Linux uses WebKit GTK for its web view. So WebKit, um, Mac OS has WebKit natively, so it uses WebKit. Um, if you don't know what WebKit is, it's what powers Safari currently. Not Chrome, it used to power Chrome as well, but Chrome's on their own thing now called Blink, so uh, which is part of the Chromium project. So this doesn't use Chromium under the hood, this uses WebKit. And for Windows though, it does use WebView 2 provided by Microsoft Edge Chromium. So Microsoft has their own version of Chromium that they ship called Edge, where it's Microsoft Edge is their browser, and Microsoft Edge Chromium is their own version of Chromium. Now, this means that just like Electron, you're essentially shipping a browser renderer under the hood, because honestly, you can't expect them to build their own one. Uh, that would be a tremendous undertaking, uh, given just how large the projects of Blink, WebKit, and Firefox are, right? You probably know what Firefox's rendering engine's name, but I, I don't offhand. But either way, it also says experimental support uh, for mobile ends. If you're interested in playing, follow this note. And that's pretty interesting to me. I would imagine that just like many of these other UI toolkits, this again is just going to be using a web view. So basically a browser window to render this stuff because unlike React Native, that's actually translating to native application code. I think that would be kind of a lofty target for them. I can't imagine it's not, but I, I haven't dove into it because it's it's too experimental at this point. It's too brand new, but it would be cool if that ends up being the case. So Tori basically allows you to write applications for your desktop and soon to be mobile as well. Maybe fulfilling that right once deploy everywhere and you can use the web framework for me. I'm going to pick Svelte. I'm going to build an application in Svelte. In fact, I'm working on an app right now that would be perfect for something like this. So. Uh, Tori seems like a great option. Now there's really great documentation here. If you want to look at the Rust docs, it's on doc.rs, like everything else in the Rust land. And doc.rs is not my favorite looking website. I gotta say, it's great that they have all these docs here, but don't love <laughs> browsing that website. However, the native, uh, the TypeScript and JavaScript API for this is really well documented here. You get all sorts of things from like accessing the clipboard to accessing the file system. 
And this is where uh, it really comes in handy to have these documentation because typically if you're writing a native app, maybe you do want to be accessing the file system or the shell or OS specific things, or maybe perhaps notifications or um, just the the window itself. There's all sorts of things that you might want to be interacting with as a native application, and you can do so with Tori via these APIs, which as you can see here, are just JavaScript. So you don't have to be a Rust legend to be awesome at building things in Tori. So I highly recommend checking this thing out, especially if you're interested in taking your web views and turning them into a native or desktop application. And again, it's just shipping a browser that's rendering this stuff. So it's not truly like native code, and uh, but it can be really performant. In fact, many applications that I use day to day are just web views, whether you have Notion, which maybe not a perfect example of a performant application, but um, our to do application is called Height. Um, Height.app is an amazing application and that thing is super duper fast. Also a web view, also shipping an, an, an app probably with Electron. Um, you have things like VS Code. I don't think it's Electron anymore, but it was at one point. Maybe it still is. You can correct me on that. Leave leave a description or a comment below if you know if VS Code is still Electron based. Either way, just because it is a desktop application written in web tech does not mean it has to be slow. And I think Tori is going to be a great alternative to something like Electron, which is basically on this entire market. So let's check it out. Uh, read the blog post about version 1.0. Check out the API guide. I found this thing to be extremely easy. If you just want to give it started, um, just create a Create React app and then add Tori to it. Bingo, bango, you got yourself a desktop app. Okay, super easy. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.